Arcade, Zinco, Elix. The only equipment on the market capable of producing single double radius arches or elliptical frames. This equipment makes it possible to produce any curved elements without the need for templates. The minimum working radius is 13.5 cm, while the two pairs of supplied bars can be used to achieve a radius of 3 m. Additional pairs of bars can be used to increase the radius by 1.5 m for each pair. A double radius, one of the most complicated curved shapes of all, can be achieved by combining arcade with zinco. Work procedure. Prepare a suitably sized panel in multiply, chipboard, etc. as a worktop. Position the goniometer in the center of the worktop, making sure that the zero is to the left of the operator. To fit the zincle, remove the tracer fork by unscrewing the two side screws. Then fit the revolver on the zincal bars and finally put back the tracer. Position the entire assembly on the goniometer, then program the revolver bars depending on the processed wood sections and the type of frame being produced, bearing in mind. Position 1, outer measurement of frame. Position 2, inner measurement of frame, position 3, outer measurement of panel, position 4, inner measurement of panel, position 5 and 6 for joint strips or other finishes. A formula for simplifying and speeding up this operation is given in the manual. Find the measurements of the two radii according to the width and chord of the arch and by consulting the table in the manual. And then position the greater radius on the arcade bars and the lesser radius on the zinkel bars. Move the revolver bar corresponding to the position's radius, example, position 1 outside of frame, to the mechanical stop and tighten. To find the meeting point between the two radii, position the index on the zero marked on the goniometer and mark the center of the arch using the central slot of the tracer. Mark the ends of the arch by tracing two lines parallel with the center. Rotate the joint on the zincle and position the tracer flaps on one of the two lines. Place the corner plate on the magnets of the zincle and fix it to the worktop. Perform the same operation on the opposite side. Insert the pencil into its slot and trace the outer arch of the frame, starting from one side and finishing on the other. As can be seen, the equipment uses a patented mechanism to change the radius without having to stop, thus achieving excellent results. Loosen the knob on the zincle, turn the revolver to position 2 and trace the inner frame.
to obtain the various arch elements, use the degrees marked on the goniometer and mark them on the meter circular sawing machine when the various parts are cut. After choosing a type of joint, trace the cuts. Female and female for the central slot of the tracer, toothed for the external slots. elements have been determined in scale one to one. Taking the measurements on the drawing, cut the pieces of wood at the set degrees, butt them as required and join them together with the help of our purpose-built clamps. After producing the rough arch, attach it to the drawing previously executed. Remove the tracer assembly, insert the universal plate with the electric router already fixed to it and repeat the operation performed during the tracing stage. The difference is that the frame is now directly produced. Use the electric router to cut a groove which will act as the upper part of the finished frame and against which the rest of the frame will be shaped with a hand portable router machine after removing the excess wood from the circular saw. For the panel, perform the same procedure with position 3-4 of the revolver. The glass top can be made from the panel using our router table to which the electric router is fixed underneath the top. Arcade. Simple arch frames can be produced using arcade. The work procedure is the same as before. Elix. With Elix and some parts from Arcade, a perfect geometrical ellipsis can be obtained. 
the work procedure is the same as before. Driver. The driver for curves was designed to assure greater safety during router machining on curves. It is fitted with a motor capable of assuring a regular feed of approximately 2 meters per minute in order to obtain a high quality finish. The rubber wheel does not damage the wood and ensure the piece is perfectly positioned with respect to the tools. The driver can be used on arcs with a minimum radius of 25 centimeters available with one or two feed speeds. It can also be connected to a dust extraction system, 